Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For this video, we are going to talk about prime factorization or the factor tree. In my previous video, we have discussed about prime and composite numbers. If you haven't watched that video yet, please click the suggested video above. Remember, prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors, that is one and itself. Examples, we have three, Three is prime because it only has two factors, one and three. 59 is also prime because it only has two factors, one and 59. And 97 is a prime number because it only has two factors, one and itself. Remember, factors are numbers that you multiply together to get product. In prime factorization, you are given a composite number. The thing you have to do is to factor out the composite number and you should end up with prime factors only. Remember there are four single digit prime numbers that are 2, 3, 5, and 7. These are the most commonly used prime factors. Let's have an example. What are the prime factors of 16? 16 is a composite number so we can factor that out. First, you think of two numbers that if you multiply together, gives a 16. For an instance, let's have 4 times 4, because 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Now we write them down, 4 and 4. Check if 4 is a prime number. 4 is a composite number, so we can still factor that out. What are the factors of 4? We can have 1 and 4, or 2 and 2. But remember, we should end up with prime numbers, and 1 is not a prime number. So let's have 2 multiplied by 2. And then we write them down. Finally, we check if the numbers are prime numbers, and 2 is a prime number. So these are our prime factors. Let's write them down. 16 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that is our final answer. Now what if you think of other factors of 16 aside from 4 and 4? Let's try 8 and 2. Write down 8 and 2. 2 is a prime number, so we end up there. Now we factor out 8. Think of two numbers we multiply together gives us 8. Yes, we have 4 and 2. 2 is a prime number so we end there we factor out four we have two factors two and two now we end up with prime factors let's write down our answers 16 is equal to two times two times two times two and that is our final answer and if we are going to try to compare with our previous solution we still end up with the same answer let's have another example Prime factors of 30. You write 30 and we factor it out. Let's have 6 times 5 and then we write down. 5 is a prime number, so we end there. 6 is a composite number, so we can still factor that out. Multiply 3 and 2, it gives a 6, so we write them down. 3, 2, and 5 are prime numbers, so those are our final answers. And then we write it down, 30 is equal to 5 times 3 times 2. And that is our final answer. For our last example, let's try 42. 42 is a composite number, we factor that out. Let's think of two numbers that if we multiply together gives us 42. Let's try 6 and 7. 7 is a prime number. So we end there. We factor out 6. We have factors 3 and 2. 3, 2, and 7 are prime numbers. So this ends our factor tree. Encircle them and write them down. 42 is equal to 7 times 3 times 2. And that is our final answer. That ends our video about prime factorization. I hope you have learned a lot. In my next video, I am going to discuss about GCF and LCM. It is more like a series of short clips. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.